Polly called me in the Jason's office. Um, they were gonna go work on the magic bike today. So two ways we can do it. One, water jet the whole thing out of one piece, or we can do halves. Mm -hmm. I, think you're, I think you're gonna be a lot better off doing it out of one tank. One piece, one, one tank. One piece is gonna be more <laughs> rigid. Yeah. I mean, Polly's gonna be going on vacation, just taking some time off. So um, more or less, I'm gonna have to just make sure everything gets done and just really take charge of everything. If Jim can pull it off in one piece, that's definitely the way to do well, it. Well, you know what, we got the freaking right machine there. that can do it. Yeah, I know. So um, I, I think with everything they have planned to do, it, it shouldn't be all that bad to do, and I'm um, looking forward to it. This is going to be a pretty cool bike to do. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. And then this one now, you're not going to be around. I know, though. I know. And this, this would actually be a real nice one to have you here for. It's never an ideal time to leave here, that's for sure. No. Who's working on this with me, then? Probably you and Paul Sr. Come on, man. I need somebody that can work on things. That can do see, something, see anything? Well, I have, to, I have to help him pretty much with doing everything. So that well, you still need someone to help you. Yes. Because well, he's not really going to do anything. Right. Um, really, the pressure is going to be up on my shoulders for this. Oh, look at that. That dot is center of the tire. In races, if you can get that on. Fortunately, I got Lee helping me out. So um, I, I think it should be up for the challenge, and um, we, we should get her done. Yeah. We got a couple days to do it, so I think we'll do good. You want me to go grab a fender blank or something? What you, um, you know, for now, I want to get the front end on, and let's get forward controls on it. Uh, normally, a bike project uh, like this, I would be involved with um, through the fabrication portion, not just the design. Uh, but Rick's more than capable. He does have Lee working with him, so he's got an extra set of hands. <laughs> I think Rick's pumped up about it. I think it's definitely a cool project. I really wish I could be involved, but I can't. It's going to be an outrageously loud exhaust. You're going to end up somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. Your little turnouts. Don't be afraid to get them up sweeps going, though. No. I explained to him some of the ideas I had uh, as to how to make things work. You know, anything you want to do to make that more aggressive, you're welcome to it. If you want to change the cut, make it a little nastier, more, I'd, I'd like to. more hooky with points, yeah. You know, it's easy to come up with a design sometimes, but to make them work is the trick. But um, I told him some different ways I think it should work. Working with Jason in the flames, uh, making that all make sense. Um, really, all together, I think it's going to work out really good. What do you think? You ready for this? Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to start working on the exhaust. Um, I guess I need to get this done today. We got to send this out just because of the time frame, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, work on the rear fender. All right. Uh, with Junior on vacation, it's real nice to have Lee helping out. Today, I got to get the exhaust done just so we can send it out for Chrome. And Lee's going to help me get the point on the rear fender cut out. Exactly. And then over to here and then straight off? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'd, I'd have him come up and then do, do like that opposite. Yep, yep. Reverse angle. Yep. Oh, gorgeous, man. Rick, you're so damn smart. <laughs> I'll give you the Nobel Peace Prize in metal work. <laughs> well, it, it's the first time I really got to work with Rick, as in on a, a full project. And, uh, you know, Rick's very knowledgeable about, about metal. And um, I think he, he more or less needs a, a good bit of help over there because, you know, Junior's so busy designing bikes and he's in and out. And uh, Rick knows what he's doing. So it's, it's a good, it's really good. It's like steak and potatoes just goes together. Check her out, Rick. That's cool. I like it. With Polygon, um, I most of the decisions you know, and all that guesswork's up to myself. You know, normally when I'm working on a bike, um, Junior's you know typically not around on the left. He's he's just busy doing something else. So if there's questions or anything involved, you know, with certain scenarios or whatever, you can either find them or you know just waste time. Having Lee here helping me out, it, it just it adds so much. You have two people working on the bike all day long, so that means a world of difference. Um, it's actually less work I have to do, but it's so much more work that we both get done. And it's always better to have two hands, just, just or four, mm -hmm. or six or something. OK, now you got to put a cover on this and start working on the exhaust. He's got it coming out so damn wide. Uh, Junior kind of gave me a rough idea of what he was looking for for the exhaust. Uh, but since the picture just has some simple straight pipes, I thought I'd make it just twist around the tranny, just to make it a little more interesting. It's a lot of extra work, but it's details like that that just really make the bike stand out. And I really like doing stuff that's more difficult. All right, I'm just going to make some bends. You can't rush an exhaust like this. It's just a lot of different pieces that got to fit together. With Lee here, I should be able to get this all done and out the chrome on time. You know what, buddy? What's that? Can I get you to tack this? Yep, a mamba. You just get one right on top. Ready? Beauty. What are you making, Rick? Steve Wildrick. Yeah. Magician? Is it a magician, man? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I guess we, would, we wanted to get the exhaust done first. We're going to try to get that out today, just so we can get the chrome done. 
I guess, is at the time frame. Seeing that we're a little shorthanded around the shop, I, you know, jumped in right away to just help with the seat pan. And just when I thought we can get some work done, Senior shows up just to put in his two cents. I know he really thinks he's helping out, but his method of doing things usually takes about twice as long to fix. What are you laughing at? Nothing. You think it's funny? You don't think I'll hit you with glasses on? <laughs> but luckily, his attention span isn't that long.